Thunder Bunnies, if you gotta take off, get some food. Thank you for hanging out. We'll be here. It's exciting. The great thing about streaming these weird hours with the lore streams is that um, I'm getting to see a lot of people on Twitch that, like, I don't normally get to interact with unless I'm, like, lurking myself as a viewer. So. No, I'm not. I'm not normally live at these hours. <laughs> is, is World of Darkness 2 or 3? This is the third and final. Circus Tower's the middle one. We just killed Zandi and Anon, and uh, Rambros and them are like, well, thank goodness we're never going to have to deal with them again. Um, and I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That'd be weird if we ever had to do that. And then... Now... Let me turn this down. Battle music's a little loud. Okay, so now the... Uh, we have this new plan. Okay. So those of you that have done 6.1, we have a new plan. Just just hear this one out. Because I've done 5.0, 6.0, 6.1. But I haven't done this. The new plan is what if we're trying to make it into the void. So that's where we are right now. So we're in the void. And we're really worried that the void might come through large void gates. Stands to reason. We've heard this before in the future. Well, what we now did to get to the world of darkness is we tore our own big hole into the void. What? Big enough for five airships to go through. Are you kidding? Just picture... Just picture everything that Viertra went through to make sure that he had control of it. And we're all like, yes, yes, I totally understand. Oh, yeah, no. An uncontrolled rip in the void would be a terrible idea. How did our warrior of light look him in, in, in with a straight face? Like, what? I was like, oh, wow, I'm learning so much about void gates. Except my warrior of light's like, no, you're not. We've done way worse. We almost ended the world. Ridiculous. Alright, how many are we going to lose here? Are we going to make it to 24 deaths? Can we lose 24 across this? That's the number. 24 is what we're looking to lose. 24 must be sacrificed to the blood god. Okay. Um... None yet. I expect the Doom to get at least two. I think we'll lose 24 across the raid. Between now and and the end of the raid, I think we'll lose 24 people. You still don't get the select mechanics. Okay, so the eyeball here. So if you do not turn, you should turn for the eyeball. If you do not turn like this, you get a Doom mechanic. To lose the Doom mechanic, like Sunken Temple of Karn, you need to go, you need to go lick one of these lit up platforms. So the irony there being, people who do mechanics don't get doom. I guess it unlit before I got there. And so that's why I died. All I had to do to not die there was turn around. Okay? So we'll, next time we'll do it correctly. So, and then if you've done Tsukiyomi in Stormblood, the red and the blue is the same thing. Just touch red and next time touch blue. Or vice versa. 150 death. Get out of that, get out of that, get out of that. All right, we've lost like a ton of people. I've lost count. Oh my god, there's so many dead. I mean, there's four dead right now. Okay. You were busy making the prediction. That's why you died. I I think we're at like six deaths, and I'm one of them because I'm busy showing mechanics. Um, so mortal gaze. All you have to do to not get lit is turn the other way. Look, no doom, right? So we've got a doom on our black mage here. So our black mage has to go lick that platform. And then if it goes away, they have to go lick the next one. So now they need to go lick this one if they didn't get there in time. Otherwise, they die. So. We're, I think we're at 6 of uh, 24. So that's the first mechanic. That's the first one. Um, 
think I did red first, so I'll go blue. Okay. Doesn't matter. Um, yeah. I think I want all this. Yeah, I think I want all this. Just because I don't have an infinite source of poetics on this character. So I'm I'm gonna need gear for all these classes. I was hopeful to hit 50 on Dragoon and White Mage this week, but I've done my leveling roulette four days this week. And um all four days I've gotten E free I've gotten E free or Titan. And so like I'm just getting utterly screwed on experience. <laughs> um Today was the fourth day in a row. So, feels good. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. This is the same guy. Was that Queen Skyla? Was that King Skyla before? I think we killed your husband. Like, 40 minutes ago. Wasn't that the second boss of Circus Tower? Oh, it's just a clone. Okay. That makes me feel better that we're not, like, completing some tragic murdering of a couple. One on each side. Okay. You should not lose anybody on this fight. Uh, th nothing, nothing here still matters. None of these mechanics matter. You don't want to let those gates finish, but none of it matters. And you, you want to stun stuff, but it's fine. It, it just dies too fast. This is a clone. Zandy's clone. Because it says clone. How did you know the other one was clone? You haven't seen people wipe in WAD? Uh, dog can wipe. It depends on if Group C's got their act together. We're in Group C, so that helps. Group C is most commonly the cause of wipes. Group, group B is the reason the group... Is the reason it takes forever. Alright. Five-headed dragon should not... Like, as long as people understand how to target Titan's heart, they shouldn't have any trouble with five-headed dragon. So what we're going to end up with here is we are going to... swap the uh, the ability to target heads. And you just got to kill the heads. And that's it. That's it. That's the only thing that could cause this to wipe. So it would just take the world's laziest group of people. Like, if people were treating this like an LFR raid out of WoW, you could wipe Stack, 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 stack. All right. So, right here. So you want to come up here and attack all these heads. These have to die. Sometimes they don't. And then we... And then bad things happen. But they should. There we go. But it's like not killing Ifrit's nails. Like I don't even know if you left one head up if it would kill you. It should, but I don't know that it, I don't know that it still would. People were just too overgeared now. Which like since this is required for MSQ, I don't even know that we want this to go back to being hard. Because like yesterday I waited an hour to not get a group for this. So and and it's required for MSQ. So you don't you don't want it to just stall people out because there's wipes. Any of you have ever done like week one alliance raids like Algaia? Like it is possible that week one on alliance raid when it's it's at its hardest, it is possible that you don't get a clear. Because either people abandon or it or it times out, because people just either don't respect or don't understand mechanics. So I don't know that we want to go back to Crystal Tower being like it was in ARR when it could really tear groups up. They were some of my favorite content in ARR. Like when I say I liked this game and I didn't care, I didn't need, to, I didn't do story. Alliance raids and stuff were the reason for that. They were, I mean, it was, it was a blast. You know, like this was just chaos. <laughs> like there's just three groups and they're all supposed to coordinate. Oh, this is a recipe for delightfulness. <laughs> And you could come in with like a group with a friend, like just your friend group and be like the eight of you and you're like, we got our stuff together and then they're just wiping you. Oh, it's just chaos.
All right. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Ooh, pants, pants, pants. If you guys roll on those now, I'll equip them. Those are 120s. Those are pretty good. Uh, what do I have now? Oh, I already bought the augmented pants. That's the only slot I bought. Oh, uh, oh wait, no, 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 I have the chest too. Okay. So I've got two 130s. Skyla's the five-headed dog, yes. And the circus tower is a person who's referencing Skya. All right. So this is another one that can wipe groups. So for anybody that doesn't understand why, um, in ARR, you had to wait to pull. Otherwise, you lock people out. So there was this etiquette of like, wait, 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 wait. Okay? And you would ready check. Later, they added the ability for dungeons to say, hey, if you're busy, if you're too slow, after 15 seconds, we'll let you teleport in. But that was later. So by the time we're in like Orbon Monastery, it knows how to separate you into your groups. Ah, touch that, touch that, touch that, touch that. No, I'm devoured. Guys, touch that, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. Oh god, oh, this is how groups wipe. Go, 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 go. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. Mother of god. So, the reason this can wipe is, see how these are blue? Somebody needs to go light up our blue ones. And that comes from their little lit platforms. So they need to keep touching them. So you've got to touch these up here because they light the other ones. So what happens if somebody pulls early <clears throat> is any people that are locked out get tossed onto platform A. And so you can imagine if there's like 20 people on platform A and two people on C and B, if they get knocked off, the other elevators don't end up there. And eventually everybody is stuck off the platform with no ability to get back up and you wipe. And if any of the three groups wipe, we're all done. We can't help them. Like, like it just, the whole thing just falls apart because they don't, they don't touch their platforms. So that can be wipe number two, but if it is, like nobody dies there unless the entire raid dies. All right. And now this boss can cause wipes. It shouldn't cause wipes. So the general etiquette is that A kills the ads, so they kill the little the little flower things. B goes in the belly. So they've got to get vomited on so that they turn into tiny things and get chewed up by the dog. I think we're only at six deaths. I don't think we had any deaths there. Now if the whole group of B goes in at once, all eight people, B is really fast, this whole boss falls over. But what tends to happen is only two or three people in B know how to go in. So you need to go stand in the vomit, the gastric juices, see, and then they shrink down, little mini me's, and then you want to get, you want to get consumed. So he's going to go chomp, 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 and he ate three of them. One of them died because they stood in bad. So that's seven deaths. So there's, there's kind of a trick to it. So we've got three people in the belly. Oh, four in the belly. Sometimes you'll have others go in as well. You think you're at 10? Oh my god. Well, I'm glad you guys are coming. See, so A should be taking out the wolf Spain. We're gonna go help with that. Oh, look at that. Five in the belly. Alright, alright. Six in the belly. We're gonna get there. The belly is just a whole other set of ads. And so, like, they're in there dealing with that. All right, so now C for chains. This is a common reason for wipes, is people don't come do the chains. The chains over here have to be run. I wish we'd tank this down at this end, but you know, we made choices. Somebody just used rescue, which is a godsend. Uh, click it, okay. There's a debuff timer on that. So if he goes off before he's chained, he wipes the raid. Sometimes people want to attack him more while he's laying there. So they hold on to it and they're like, I'll put it on in a minute right before his count goes off. But they don't realize that the chain has a cooldown on it. So the chain will fall off. And then somebody has to go grab a new chain. And then he enrages and and that's it. That's game on. Like, and then he just starts one-shotting people. 
And so then it's literally, can you kill him before he one-shots the raid? If the DPS is high enough, you can. Um, but that's usually a wipe. So, that's another common source of wipes in this raid. Like, it's just a dangerous raid compared to any of the others. Like, the math boss kills a handful of people, but, like, you only you die. This is like, you have the choices of, if C doesn't grab chains, the whole raid dies. They don't, nothing in, like, Dunscathe is that dangerous. Nothing in, or, like, there's, they just don't make Alliance raids that dangerous anymore. And now, like, you get knocked off the hand in Algaia and you can get rezzed. So, you don't even necessarily, like, have to sit out the rest of the fight anymore. And I don't know that that's a bad thing, it's just different. There we go, map in the realm. The only way you get a wipe on the last boss is if we uh, ignore clouds. Otherwise, you could pretty much eat her laser beams to the face. Who disturbs the gloom? Ah, mortals, from the realm of light, you need to read faster, because I speak quickly. I am the cloud of darkness. I do not smother, I devour. I cannot smother, I devour, I think is what it said again. The covenant is everlasting. All mortals of the cloud of darkness will sink into the lifeless of blood. I guess they sped that up. Oh, and then it's gone. You can't even read it in the event log? Oh, you suck. That was so fast. I guess they sped that up so everybody didn't have to wait on me. All right, all right. Well, kind of took the drama out of it. We've been building up to this. We're like four hours, because we started it yesterday. We're like four hours into Crystal Tower lore. We're at the final boss, the epicness, the destroyer of the world. And you gotta, you gotta just go, 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 go. Why? Uh. All right, so these do have to be soaked. Uh, somebody's got that one. I'll get this one. Um, if you don't soak like three of these, it'll kill casters. One of them won't kill us, but like, if just like everybody stands here, which happens during like Google Tombstone events, like people just get lazy because they're running this like 10 times. Um, that'll group, that'll kill us. And the clouds, if they get to her, that's bad. But all you have to do to not let them get to her is stand in the way. So like, if you stand in it, look, look at how slow it goes when somebody's standing in the way. That's it. And nothing else she does is really dangerous anymore. Like, all of her mechanics aren't dangerous. Like, I can stand right in front of her face when she, like, bad breath lasers me. And it won't kill me. It should kill me, but it won't. So, is she hotter than Eden? Eden who has, like statues for thighs or something I, I don't know that's darkness take you all the void shall consume all that is like we shouldn't be standing here in darkness all is one be it hope or despair everything is mine to devour so here you just want to split up roughly evenly doesn't matter doesn't matter no healing it just sucks if, like, only one person goes in one. I don't know. It's like a Temple of Karn type moment. But you can stand in this. You just shouldn't. See, like, I take a bone stack, but, like... Eh. Eh. And, like, I'm in 115. Like, I'm not even in the best gear I could be. I could be in 130. And unlike 2.4 and 2.2, 130 was available in 2.5. So, like, I'm not even in broken gear. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to the... Let's chill and have some coffee. Thunder Bunnies, thank you so much for six months.